Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Glitched by Velocity. I'm your host Vazahat, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create particles in Copper Cube. As you can see on the screen, there are some nice looking particles which I have created in Copper Cube 6. So, without further ado, let's get started. Open up your Copper Cube editor and create a new 3D app. Maximize it and delete this default cube mesh and default startup skybox. Change the background color to black. For this demonstration purpose, I'm going to create a smoke particle which will be better than this default smoke particle which comes with Copper Cube 6. This looks like very dense smoke particles or black smoke. I'm going to create some light smoke which will look much better than this. So create a new particle system here and then it will add a stream of particle going upward in the direction and I'm going to use a custom smoke texture rather than this default texture. So add the step, add the texture by going into your texture directory and selecting this smoke texture. Apply this to the particles. And let me just quickly switch my view to show IR, show ir edit or ir lit properties. Uh, I hope I pronounce them right. So we have a bunch of properties here. These are general properties, name, position, rotation, scale, and visibility. I'm not going to explain this, but first I'm going to explain this particle properties then we will be going towards the creation of the smoke particle so starting from this direction this direction value will decide on which direction your particle is moving for example right now it is moving in the y-axis positive y-axis at 0 0.03 speed you can change the value if the higher the value the higher the speed and the, the higher the distance the particle will travel for example if i change it to one instead of 0. 0, 03 then you will see that the particle is now moving at much higher speed at longer distance to the longer distance now switch back to 0 0.03 then we have maximum maximum angle degrees max angle degrees this will change the spawning of particles or moving of particles to different angles or different directions for example if i choose 45 degrees then the particle will move to the different angles and different directions on 45 degrees each you can change it up to 360 degrees for now let it change back to zero emit area will decide the spawning of your particle or the area from wh where the particle will spawn right now it has no spawning or you can say one small point one spawning point if i change this to 10 and 10 and 10 then the particle will spawn from here, 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 and here. This also depends on the number of particles. If you can, if you change this maximum particles to two, one six two five zero, because that's the number or that's the amount or that's the maximum amount this particle system can handle for the maximum particles. Then we have maximum particles per second, and I'm gonna increase this to one thousand because it is limited to 1000 particles per second now you will see the amount of particles spawning from this emit area if i increase this emit area to 100 then you will notice that they are spawning from 100 different points so that's how the emit area will work in particle systems let me just quickly revert the values or you can use ctrl z but that won't work here so you have to revert it back or you can create a new particle always create a new particle all right then we have minimum lifetime and maximum lifetime which will decide or how long the particle will stay in your scene or in your game for example if i increase this maximum particles or oh, ma maximum particle maximum lifetime sorry to 
something like if I simply add one zero then you will see it will go up the particle will be going to stay longer in the scene and then it will disappear so you can change it to 100 now the particle will disappear much faster maximum lifetime and minimum lifetime will do the will do this but change it back to 1200 then we have mag minimum particles per second and maximum particles per second and maximum particles so maximum particles is the amount of particles for your particle system it is limited to 16250 particles you can have at much or at maximum 16250 particles in your particle system then we have minimum particles per second which will spawn minimum particle no, amount of particles which will be spawned per second will be from minimum i prefer it to use zero and the maximum particles to be 200 so 0 to 200 or uh, you can change it to 100 to 200 particles per second you can change it to 10 to 20 as well just like the default particle then we have minimum start color and maximum start color if you change this minimum start color to red then you will notice that now we have three colors here one is dark red one is light red and one is white what it will do is it will set minimum start color as red and maximum start color as white and in between in the combination of both so we have red particle and white particle and then the combination of both which is light red let's revert it back to white then we have minimum start size for x and y coordinates and maximum start size for x and y coordinates this is the size of particle or minimum size of the particle and the maximum size of particle you can change it to one and one now the particle will have random size from one to five so it is used to create random sized particles but i will prefer to have these all same these these all are same values and then we have fade out fade out will fade the particle when it dis disappears then we have fade out time fade time if you increase this fade time the particle will uh, disappear early and if you decrease this fade time the particle will be visible for much longer then we have this fade target color you can change it to red this will change the alpha or the fading target fading particle to red you can see much clear that the particles which are fading or disappearing has some red color red tint and the particle which are not fading or which are starting from here uh, has white color so that's how it works i'm going to change it to black and then we have this gravity here this gravity is independent of this direction here they both will affect each other but they don't completely overlap each other's values for example we have this 0 0.03 value here which is making this particle goes up then we have our gravity working on it and making the particle goes down so the particle is starting from here going up here then the particle is going down again so that's how the gravity will work right now we have minus 0 0.3 gravity if we want we can change it to positive then it will make the particle goes up but let it set to default value then we have gravity affecting time if you change this to something like 5000 then you will notice that the gravity is working after 5000 or 5 seconds has been completed if you increase it or decrease it to something like 100 then it will affect immediately all right 
so this is how the gravity will work and then we have change scale then the change scale will change the particle size or particle end size for example we have starting size of one wait let me just silent my mobile phone because i'm having a call but i'm not going to pick it up so if we have this wait i can't select it from here if we have this particle start size as one and then we have scale size to 10 then you will notice that the particle will now be scaled to 10 uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 the change highest scale for the change it will be 10 you can change it to 30 if you want or something else so now the particle is much more visible it also depends on the distance the particle if the distance is higher then you will be easily distinguished between the sizes if the distance is lower then you will not be able to distinguish between the one two three four five size and that's it so now moving on to creation of or smooth particle let me just delete this and quickly create a new particle for easier understand what i'm going to do so we have created a new particle and now i'm going to apply a texture to it then the first thing i'm going to change is the minimum start size to zero for x and y coordinate then we will give it change scale to 10 then we will give it fade out and with a value of 5000 for the fade time and minimum start color to black maximum start color to black as well you might not be able to see anything here because we haven't changed this fade target color so i'm going to change it to white and as soon as i change it to white you will be able to see this and then we have this speed direction 0 0.03 so i'm going to decrease it to 0 0.1 now you will be able to see it much more clearly the smooth and then we have this maximum angle degrees so i'm going to change it to 30 so that it looks much better uh, then we have this maximum particles per second i'm going to use 200 particles per second and minimum particles will be 100 and maximum lifetime will be 500 you can change it to something like this maybe 800 you can tweak your these settings according to yourself so this is how you can create a smoke and let me just change a few more values for example if i change this to 30 just for the reference or for the demonstration then you will notice now it has been completely turned into a ball or sphere of smoke i don't want that so let it be 10 and then we have this angle here so change it to 45 and speed a little bit more yeah now it looks much better and if i move around it like this then you will see that it looks much more like smoke and if i create this smoke particle here the denser one this is so dense and this is light cloud light smoke and if i move this around like this then you will notice that it is not looking like a smoke or you can say it is like more like cloud or is not realistic you can say but if i move this around then you will see that it's like 
we have having some smoke moving much faster speed because the phase target alpha of this is much more realistic you can change the fade target color or fade target time and then you can also use the gravity for example uh, let me change this to 0 0.03 and the time gravity affecting time so that it will move up like in a frame like this so it looks more like a stream of smoke you can use it in your chimneys and all those stuff so it looks more visible like smoke so that's it that's how you can create a more realistic smoke and also one more thing if you look through it if you go into the smoke and if you try to look through the smoke then you will be able to see clearly from the smoke and it looks like transparency it has some transparency because in real life smoke has some transparency but uh, from this smoke the default one if you go here and try to look then you will not be able to see through it anything but from this smoke if you try to look then you will be able to see the smoke coming behind this or anything behind this smoke so i'll prefer using this smoke or the with the the smoke with the fade target alpha where your fade time has higher value so this is how you can create some particles and now it's time to show off some cool particles which i have already created uh, by going here in this particles directory so these are some cool particles you can use custom behaviors or default behaviors come with the uh, copper cube for example you can use rotation and for some reason if you don't have a uh, scale value or emit area then you might not be able to select your particles from the 3d viewport you have to select them by going in your scene graph explorer so i have this this one with four strands of particle emit area of particle let me just show ir edit and edit properties so that you can see the particles property so i have emit area of 10 on the z axis so it will have some strands and then i have applied rotation on the y axis of 8 so it looks like it a dna strand or a revolving dna then i have this snake looking particle which has scale of 0 on the x axis and 2 on the y axis and 1 on the z axis if you don't have any scale on any of the axis then you will not be able to select the particle in the 3d viewport and i have emit area only on the y axis so it is emitting on the y axis if i change this to 0 then you will not be able to see any changes because it doesn't affect that much so we have this rotate behavior attached on the y axis but this is single strand this is not like this uh, the emit area of this is this uh, i can't select this i have to <laughs> go again to this ah yeah so we have this 10 value on the z axis but for this particle the revolving strand single strand particle we have no emit area on the z axis if i change the emit area for example for this particle on 10 then you will notice now it is more denser or has more strengths and values here will affect the particles as well if i increase this to 30 then you will notice some cool changes you can change the particles however you want by changing some of the values so it is not at all necessary so 
let me change it back to four and change it back to zero so these are some cool particles you can create like we have this particle here and then we have this arc reactor like particle with some different colors and different values for example this will have blue red and yellow color which has give this violet or pink color to this particle then we have this particle which is rotating at two axis one it is rotating on one axis but it has a predefined rotation here for example i have applied a let me like this and if i go to behavior then it is rotating only on the z axis but it has initial rotation here on the x axis like this if i change this to something like zero then you will notice that it is now revolving like this so having predefined rotation on any axis and then changing its rotation on animating will also affect the particle so this will be like this uh, okay so we have this particle here and then we have uh, this particle here which is static not in motion because it uses maximum particle maximum lifetime of the particle as 2000 and minimum lifetime as 2000 if i decrease it then it will animate otherwise it will stick or become static then we have fire 12 i think so i have these particles but it's then we have this <laughs> cool looking particle uh, actually i wanted to create uh, my nation's flag i'm from india and it looks much like an indian flag except the blue circle ashok chakra in the center then i have also have a dynamic light attached to this and a rotation on all the axis at 100 speed and 10 speed and not on the z axis it looks more like raining or rain effect and then i have this you can see somewhat like floating or uh, flowing of lava or it can be used as waterfall or something like that but i won't prefer it to use as waterfall they don't have uh, any value on x axis or i think this is z axis scale on the z axis or x axis they are yeah they don't have any scale on the x axis so they look like plain meshes if you check them out so then we have this one static here they do have some animation in the starting or some initial animation but but after a few seconds of or after a minute they will become static so we have this circle here or spiral things here and then we have this one here which looks more like some sort of doctor strange opening the portal or some sort of this this looks like a ring in the editor but in the gameplay it will look like a star something then we have this yellow smoke cloud type something explosion of cloud or smoke yellow smoke and then the final one we have not the final one then we have this revolving fan like animation and this one is the same as this one and then we have this waterfall or river or stream jet stream like effect which uses single particle which is uh, yeah fire 14 so it moves from here and then it goes down from there just like a fountain or just like a waterfall uh, flowing through a mountain suppose there you have mountain edge here and it's a river flowing through the mountain and then the waterfall goes down you can change the color if you want to i will provide all these particles uh, in the description as a zip file 
then we have this particles two effects here which has these balls some nice looking balls here and they have and this looks like fireball this looks like water ball or blue ball and ice ball and you can say green is for earth balls and if i test it as application then the green will be hidden after some time then it will like exploding so you can use these methods if you hide and unhide a particle system then it will appears like it is exploding so it is hiding and unhiding after five seconds so it's so these are some cool effects then we have this particles three here which has some cubes you can say some glitched cubes and if i press ctrl f10 and test this as application you won't see anything and if i press enter then there will be an animation like they are crossing each other crossing over each other like this so we have these cubes particle you can download all of these particles from the description of from a zip file in the description i will provide the zip file in the description so we have particles 4 which has this snowfall effect snow and this snow particle has a huge emit area then we have this uh, weird looking particle but uh, one more thing I want to show you is you can use eradit and edit properties to create some cool nice effect this is a spiral you can see it is a spiral uh, this has been created and all these effects are using wireframe wireframe properties <laughs> yeah they all are wireframe if you go to eradit and edit properties and check the material properties then you will notice that they have this wireframe mode here so it looks <laughs> like waterfall or something but it is in wireframe mode so it looks like this and if i change this to wireframe from wireframe mode to this then you will have this cartoony effect or cartoony spiral effect and if you test them as application they look really cool these are nice effects some nice effects so that's all for today's video i hope you liked or enjoyed the video i hope you will find these particles source files useful and you can tweak the values of these particles according to yourself uh, and can apply and play with eradit or edit properties and then can apply different custom behaviors or actions to those particles to make them more responsive or visually attractive so that's all enjoy peace out if you like the video give it a thumbs up comment down your feedback and subscribe to the channel.